Hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am The Crafting Coach, and this week we're going to put together something that features the South Dakota state bird, the pheasant. When I'm putting my weekly projects together, I typically go off of something that somebody emailed me or sent me on Facebook, or I dive into my pool of trusted Pinterest projects. But when I searched Pinterest this week for pheasant feathers, I was completely underwhelmed. There were a lot of really cute projects on how to make wreaths out of pheasant feathers or Christmas ornaments, but I'm sorry, I am not doing a Christmas project before Thanksgiving rolls around. So this week's project is kind of a combination of several different ideas. We're going to make a beautiful piece of art on canvas that features the pheasant feathers instead of the paint. There are hundreds of thousands of different arrangements and ideas, but this one will be a classic look with a fun, abstract twist. So here is what you're going to need for this week's project. A canvas. This one is a 16 by 20. Pheasant feathers, your choice of paint, paint brushes, and Mod Podge. If your feathers are fresh off the bird, you are going to want to clean them first. Just select the feathers that you want and soak them in warm, soapy water for maybe about 10 minutes. Then I just took them out and put them on a towel and let them dry in the sun. If you have a flannel pillowcase, you can also put the feathers inside that, tie it tight, and toss it in the dryer. Our first step is to paint our canvas. This will look so much better than leaving it stark white. Once again, be sure to paint the sides of the canvas and give it a second coat if needed. Be sure that this is completely dry before moving forward. When you're ready, place your feathers on your canvas first to make sure that they fit where you want them. Now, like I said, I'm going to be creating more of an abstract piece, so I want the feathers to be the feature, but I want the color to really accent them. First, I'm going to grab my first feather and paint the underside of it one color. Then I'll flip it back over and press the feather firmly to the canvas. The paint will both act as an adhesive and show through the feathers just enough to be a nice accent color. I'm going to paint the stem of the feather the same color. Keep moving until all the feathers have color and they are on the canvas. Next, I'm going to up the color just a bit by adding some detail. The point of this was to make it look like the feathers were scratching away the gray, leaving the bright colors to shine through underneath. I started at the tip of the feather and just made a freehand design that got wider as I went. I made sure to extend the color all the way to the edges too. As an afterthought, I grabbed a black marker and outlined the colors so they stood out just a bit more. Once the paint has completely dried, I'm just going to grab my Mod Podge and cover the entire canvas. This is going to give the canvas a nice shine, plus it's going to protect the feathers while handling it. And that's it! My design is complete! The point of this project was to show you just how well feathers hold to canvas with just a little paint and Mod Podge. Of course, there are about a billion ways to put feathers on canvas in an attractive way, but this video just shows you how. Be creative, have fun, make a word, draw a picture. I think it'd be fun to recreate a pheasant on the canvas using just the feathers. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Catch a replay of this episode on Thursday on the Aberdeen American News Facebook page and catch a brand new episode next Saturday morning at 11 a.m. where I'll have another fun project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my Crafting Coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, where all of the Crafting Coach projects are made available for you. If you have any tips, ideas, or suggestions, please don't hesitate to email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. We'll see all of you in one week. Bye.